Right, so it's just a quick video ex uh, explaining the landing tutorial and a few things about it. So I'm really glad they introduced this. Uh, we've got the propeller stuff, but the airliner training was really good when they've introduced it. Because I've been wanting to fly these for a while now, but uh, because I had no clue how to start them up or you know land them, which is the important things, this this really helped. So basically, once you can do both of these, you more or less can fly city to city, or you know, country to country. Do what you want to do. At least you'll have the basics. But the takeoff was really detailed and explained uh, everything well. But the landing, I just don't know why they've missed everything out. You've got to land this plane visually uh, on this airport. Um, using the puppy lights on a three degree glide slope so if you're a casual gamer you ain't going to know what that is so uh, I mean, instead of playing I had to go and find out what that was looking at YouTube videos and so on and although the glide slope I do understand what that was from the propeller planes on this uh, I had no clue where to look for it so it was like you know so I'm just supposed to fly the plane visually land it and I did try it a few times and I was way too high or way too low coming in too fast so there's obviously bits of stuff I'm missing but what would have helped me most let me just pause this is knowing where to look for a glide slope indicator so I was looking on here and wasn't far off it's just that it wasn't enabled so um everything set up on this plane to land flaps are fully down now this is um throttles in the right place it's on auto auto uh, throttle so apparently i can just carry on uh you know landing the plane or just moving it and maneuvering it and the throttle um automatically reduces itself I'm not quite sure how accurate those things are supposed to be because I did try it and I left the auto throttle on and couldn't land the plane it was just way too high it was just uh, I don't know if it's supposed to automatically switch itself off or if I'm supposed to switch it off and that was another thing the tutorial doesn't tell you that so it's a bit of a guesswork on the tutorial so uh, somebody made it and they were too lazy they could have explained a lot more things and it would have been just so much user friendly so when um, we approaching it as an ILS approach instead of a visual visual one I'm going to turn on the information that's going to help me land this plane because I just couldn't do it visually so I've just uh, turned the information on and there's the glide slope indicators them so they need to be here and then you're on the three per three degree glide slope um, so without them actually being on this I'm not sure if pilots actually just do it without that switched on I mean I'd have it on all the time just so I'm visually even though I can see everything I can still you know see yeah I'm on the right path here so I'm not quite sure why the tutorial doesn't tell you to switch these on just want you to do it free fall which is difficult, it's difficult enough to do it with these um, so let me just put the RLS mode on the other display so that's where we are at the moment so we're off the path at the moment and uh, you can see the lights they're all, we're going to land at this strip here just at that strip and the lights are all white which indicates we're too high so looking at this yeah we're way too high so that bar is above that so you know we need to dip now i'm going to let the autopilot handle this so we can just see what's happening because uh i'm not very good at it yet it's difficult so how they want you to do it visually is a bit weird so if I just click on approach as well yeah, I don't know what 
it does this but then it will straighten itself up and the tutorial tells you to look at this screw sorry this one and that screw should be lined up with that on approach so we'll do that in a minute it'll automatically get in line you can see this is uh, getting more and more straight and the glide slope now is coming into its correct position so I'm not an expert pilot I'm not any type of pilot I'm just a just a casual gamer to be honest that likes playing flight sims and that so tutorial I don't know what it's aim if it's aiming for actual pilots because they would know all this but it was if it's aiming for actual casual gamers they haven't done a good job on that so that's nicely lined up now on the autopilot look so we're on a good we're on the localizer is level and glide slopes level so that's where it should be and we're descending I think it's at 900 feet per minute that's what it indicates there auto thrust is on uh, auto throttle sorry or, or thrust I don't know what it's called but I think it's auto thrust and we're five just under six miles out from the air strip in the runway so that's lined up nicely now so as we approach I would have thought the autopilot would have took me really close and uh, I landed it but maybe the, they're not made that way because as we approach it's starting to go off and I've noticed this the, the closer I got it basically wanted to it landed the plane in the middle here if I just leave everything as it is it will land the plane bang in the middle there not on the strip at all so it does start deviating from the strip let's change this not sure what's happened there I don't want to see that that's it that's better So you can see now we're, we're starting to go off. So I'm going to turn the autopilot off, take control. Glide slope still alright, but I'm a bit far. Auto throttle still on. We've got two white lights, two red lights, I'll just pause it. So here, we're on the correct path still, but I'm way the autopilots took me away from the uh, path it should be on so I'm gonna have to maneuver it now and also I'm gonna take uh, that's it auto throttle I'm gonna disconnect it because I don't know what it does but if I leave it on it's just uh, it doesn't let me land let's see if I undo that I'll take that off Still on the glide slope. A bit too high. Way too high. All bent. Let me just pause. So I just want to let you know flaps are all down because it was already like this. So the flaps are down and the gear's already down as well. So I've just got to land this now. way too high somehow I recovered last minute Right, so I damaged the landing gear. 
but um, it wasn't a bad attempt. But that's what I mean. The tutorial wasn't letting us um, know what the glide slope was or anything. And the autopilot just takes you off course. So with a bit more practice, not perfect, you know, not like all the great pilots, a bit of a mess really, but <laughs> that's how you play, that's how it goes. So I'll keep practicing now I know what I'm supposed to be doing and uh, then start some flights. So just watch out for some funny flights coming up. Cheers.